Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stock. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Today I would like to talk to you about three different companies, all of which I have talked before, but they were a little bit exciting today, especially on a day that I thought would be a little bit more muted in the markets. We have Avenger, who dug its way back up from like the dollar forty range back up over that $2 mark, and it's still a company that I think there's a lot of strength going for it. We also have NNDM putting out some fairly nice information, and also NEO, who broke that $60 barrier again, finally, just like we've been waiting for. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's get ready to rock. Welcome back. If you guys want to be part of my Patreon, the link is down in the description. Go ahead and click it, check it out. We got a private Discord over there. Got my growth portfolio over there, dividend portfolios coming out this week. I also put out a weekly watch list that's brand new this week as well. I'm adding more features all the time as I think of them. Anything else that I can do to provide a service to you guys and, and help support you for anybody who happens to be part of that Patreon. So come on over, I think that you'll enjoy it. Again, that link is down in the description. Also down in the description is a link for Webull. If you're in need of a trading platform, by signing up and depositing $100, you get two free stocks valued a total of $1050 up to $1,850 in total just for signing up and depositing that $100. It also gets me two free stocks. It helps support this channel and it helped me purchase the equipment that I, I'm able to film on. So I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me so far and I appreciate anybody else who has yet to sign up. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, subscribe, hit the notification bell, Hit the like button, share it with your friends. Let's get on to the stocks. All right, a quick look at the Dow Jones. I thought we would have a red day, and we did, but just barely, not by much. And I'm okay with that. I like to see the different investments that I have grow, and they were growing pretty well, a lot better than expected. I expected to be down money because I was up so much in the past few days. We'll see what the next few days have to bring in the market. Also, the S&P down but just a little bit today and really it trailed off towards the end it just kind of sputtered out towards market close the nasdaq was up just a little bit from the previous close and then uh, the russell 2000 still coming in like a champ and then we had to keep our eyes on the uh the vix for the volatility in the stock market we see that that was a little bit on the rise up from the previous close of 21.24 up to 20.63 so the first stock that I would like to talk to you about is Avenger, and Avenger is one that I've talked about a couple of times on this channel now, and it's a penny stock. I was in on this one around the time that it was a little over a dollar or so, and uh, I got into this around, I think it was a dollar 41 or so was my first average price per share when I when I first bought into it, and I rode it all the way up to $2.43, and, and it was a nice ride, figuring it's a penny stock, it's going to come back down. A dollar cost average back down into this, I think I'm sitting at about $1.61 or so right now, so you can see on the daily chart that I was in the red for a little while, and right now I'm back into the green, and it's a nice place to be. I don't know if we'll stay there in the near future, but it is nice to know that we've established a bottom, at least for right now, on this stock right around the $1.42 mark, and then things turned around for us, and then it came back up for a little while. If we look intraday, we can see for just how long. All right, so looking intraday, we actually did. We, we quite significantly broke that $2 mark. I'm surprised by looking at that. We were up to $2.20 just for a moment at one point in time before it came back down, sort of tempered the expectations, and then and then it looks like we have our close right around the $2.01 mark. So it settled right around that $2 number. I'm surprised that we broke through it and that we stayed around that $2 mark as much as we did. It is really nice. I think that $2 is about right for right now until we know more about the company's financials going forward, that they're able to get the approvals that they need for their equipment, that they make as much market penetration through Germany and the United States that they that they expect that they will. Also that they get out uh, throughout Asia more. It's also an area that they were looking, another market that they were moving, looking to move into. So these are all things that we want to know about and want to see about. So you could, if you believe in a stock like this, if you do your due diligence and your research and it's a stock that you also see in it, what I see in it, and decide to take a position, being in at the $2 mark would be a nice early investment, especially before they really start to get into those markets and before they make it throughout their, their plans to move not only throughout peripheral artery disease uh, in the market for that, but also into the much larger market for the coronary artery disease as well. All right, the next stock is NNDM. 
and you can see on the chart that they closed around $16.72. They actually broke the $17 mark again. You can see from the high on this chart that they didn't break that $18 mark yet. That's still an area of resistance that we have yet to, uh, to cross through and cross over. I think we will over time. I don't know just how soon we'll see it. We have some really nice activity right now. I'd actually like to see this trade sideways for a while, but you can see from this chart that we actually have some decent steady growth if you take out those spikes that we have in between. So what we have now, it might be a little tiny spike, it might set a little bit, but I feel, still think we're gonna see that bullish uptrend for a, a while yet. So the news that we had today was that UOF Stern came out and said that there was uh, an estimated revenue for 2020 of $3.4 million, which isn't necessarily a lot, but for this company that was, uh, it's by a lot of people still considered a, a penny stock, even though they're moving out of penny stock territory. Um, that's that's a good amount, especially when Yoav himself, uh, the CEO, the president of, of Nano Dimension, said that he wouldn't be surprised if the revenue was zero for 2020. He really sees them moving into full force going into 2021, especially in the second half of 2021, as we make it past the pandemic. And that's something that I've mentioned in my other videos where I've covered NNDM. Upon receiving the higher than expected revenue, uh, reflecting on it, they, they identified five upward trends. One was a large number of upgrades from their, their Dragonfly Pro to the 24-7 Dragonfly LDM that they have, recurring revenue from their inks, and then strong sales of their, of their uh, nano service that they have. And so that's them making devices for other companies who haven't purchased the Dragonfly system for themselves, sales to the Pacific Rim customers, and recurring revenue from customers uh, with services and support agreements. So those are the five upward trends that they've noticed in their business that go along with that. And they said that with the approximately one billion that they have in cash, zero debt, that they expect to go full force into 2021 and really accelerate their business plan to meet their targets even sooner. And they said, I think they had 80 different acquisition targets that they were looking at. They said they talked to most of them. They've identified a few of them, uh, but I don't think that they've come out and said which uh, who their targets are at this point in time. You all have also said that uh, Nano Dimension expects to slingshot out of the pandemic. So when, uh, as the pandemic lifts, they really can hit full force with all the travel restrictions gone and the world moving back into a full economic force. Just a quick look intraday. You can see that NNDM had a nice day yesterday right off the bat and then kind of muted going into the day until somewhere around one o'clock. We can see that sharp spike up and then it tapers off. With a good market tomorrow, we might, we might see you know, an even better run on them tomorrow. It'd be nice to crack the $18 mark. It would be nice to see it with that big run up that we have. And you can see that we set a, a line of support right around 1645 or so. So I don't know if that will hold going into tomorrow's market. We will have to see. I do know that this is a long-term hold for me and it's one that I don't plan to get rid of uh, for, for years to come. Finally, NEO. Neo had an incredible day today, smashing through the $60 mark, hitting $63, closing at $62.84. A lot of their activity is thought to be because of an article put out by Barron's. One of Deutsche Bank's analysts found a job posting on LinkedIn about business planning for Neo in the U.S., but I guess the post has since been taken down, so people are using that as a sign to, to fuel the rumor that they're looking for entry into U.S. markets. And, I mean, Neo's cars, I've seen them. They're, they're pretty awesome. Uh, if somebody handed one to me or if I was forced to purchase one, I would be okay with it. So that would be something that, I mean, I would be excited about, and investors are clearly excited about this. And if we look intraday, Intraday, this has a really good look to it. We see a sharp spike up on the 30 minute chart and then it just carried on upward for the rest of the day into the market close and we're in those early after hours right now. Currently sitting at about $62.54, so maybe we have a little bit of profit taking. It's so low volume in the after hours though, it's hard to really go off a lot of what we see there unless there's actually news to go along with it. Based off the look of that chart, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw further price action coming out of NEO tomorrow, if the hype is still there, if the rumors are still there, if the markets are green, if we have good EV news, good stimulus news, there's a lot of different things that can affect the price. 
as we continue into this, there are also those resistance areas that we have around $64 and about, I think like just shy, I think it's $66.99, I think it falls just shy of $67. So those are things, all things that we need to be mindful of about how much room it has to run up. And I mean, it's already up an incredible amount today. So if we're down a little bit tomorrow, I think, you know, it would be all right. Neo is going to have those ups and downs. It's going to experience that volatility. And I think it's still a fundamentally strong company. And it's one that I continue to be invested in. So let me summarize. Avenger around the $2 mark, I'm going to call that about right. I like it where it's at. It's a penny stock. It's probably still going to have its up and ups and its downs. And if it trades in a range for a while, then range traders can totally take advantage of that. As we get different positive news and positive earnings coming out, as we hear more about sales and market penetration coming out of Avenger, I think that we're going to see a lot more price action. Easily hitting the $3 mark and the $4 mark, it could easily double between now and the end of 2021. As long as Avenger continues to put in the efforts that they need to into marketing and to get out into those different markets and to increase their sales and their revenue and ultimately their profits so that we as, in, as investors feel more confident investing with them and hopefully leaving that penny stock territory. NNDM, I expect really big things for that company. They just need that time to mature. The acquisitions, I think, are going to be catalysts. So keep an eye uh, an eye out. Keep an ear to the ground for rumors about who they are going to acquire, who they plan to acquire. As that news comes out, it's a company that people are really excited about. And a lot of other people think that there's really big things for this company as well. So as that news comes out, expect those spikes to happen. You could take advantage of, um, of them in the short term, or you can hold on to them for the longer term as they mature as a company. And last, NEO. I love Neo. They're my favorite of the Chinese EV companies, and I, I really enjoy their products. And I think that they have really strong numbers, especially showing growth and strong revenue potential going forward. So it's a company that I plan to stick with. And if they go below 60 again, it can be a buying opportunity uh, for me and for anybody else who would wish to take advantage of that. So thank you for stopping by and thanks for listening. If you'd like to join me at the Patreon and the Discord, the link is down in the description. I would love to see you there. Thank you ahead of time. Also down in the description is that link for Webull. Sign up, deposit your $100, get your two free stocks. Thank you for that support as well. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Remember, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and your due diligence. Contact a financial advisor before making any financial decisions. I'm Dr. Stock. Thanks for rocking with me and go get that money.